What's up guys, it's Kevin from Mathers on the Map and today's the next van build episode installing a swivel seat to our passenger seat in the van. here welcome to our channel we are currently building this printer van right here and have over 20 videos of each little project for our van build so far we have stuff on building cabinets our plumbing painting doing all the windows so check that out if you're interested we have a lot and plan on producing more and more content so the swivel seat that we got was from Euro campers basically it's just one big swivel seat weighs a ton and you have bolts here and we have four bolts on the pedestal for the passenger seat that we have to remove and then it's showtime so let's go into it so first thing that I'm going to do here is take off the passenger seat and I'm going to be using an E14 socket torque socket I think that's what it's called to take this seat off Four of these little guys. So really quick, I want to freeze it here. If you have a wire connected to your seat, do not unplug it unless you unplug your starter battery and disconnect it from power. Otherwise, you'll get a trouble code on your dash and you'll have to take it to the dealership to get it removed. I luckily didn't have a wire on my passenger seat, so I was able to remove it freely. If you do have a wire and it's long enough to just place the seat next to the pedestal, you can do that. I did that in the previous video, installing the S-Bar S2D2 heater. So these uh, screws require a Allen wrench and you're not going to put the factory ones in the swivel seat. You're going to put that into the pedestal, I mean. You're just going to use the factory uh, Torx bolts for the top of the swivel seat. So you're supposed to do the front two first. Just hand tighten. All right, now just after they're finger tight, 45 degree angle. So now we can do the back ones. So there's this one too. And this is for the back right of the uh, swivel seat. You can kind of see it right here. It's in, there's like a hole in it. Perfect for the flathead Allen key. All right. So I got that one. That was a little tough, so I couldn't hand tighten it. So I just grabbed the Allen head, the Allen key, and started tightening it down. I should have got this one in here really quick before I tighten it completely down, but that's what happens. Alright, got all four bolts put in. It was really tight to get it to go, so you had to loosen all four up, try and get them all hand tightened, and then tighten them all up at once. But here's the swivel. You just lift this up, and then you can rotate all the way around and then it locks into place here and I can't move whoo cool now we're on to the seat also this is what the bolts look like so allen keys and then you have the flathead one and our allen head key so the flathead one is back right towards the back passenger side rear tire all right time to put the seat in place and then we're going to be using this e14 female torque socket wrench or socket i mean using the factory default bolts all 
I'm just going to hand tighten these in the front. Then I'll move the seat forward and hand tighten them in the back. So now, now I'm just tightening the factory bolts back in place. All right, so we got the swivel seat in place. Here's what it looks like. You got the factory bolts on top and the swivel. Then you got the then you got the bolts that came with the swivel seat on the bottom connected to the, the seat pedestal. And then you have your swivel right here, which allows you to move it. One thing you have to do though is move your seat forward and you're gonna have to cut this bit off a little bit. So let's show, let me show you. hitting the plastic here. You can see that here. So I'm going to have to cut on both sides this plastic. Alright, so I'm going to have the sharpie marker right here and I'm marking it off where I'm going to take the grinder and cut it off. right along this lip and same thing here probably go right onto this lip All right guys, so I started to grind out the bottom piece of this and then it actually cracked right here on the line. And I think it looks really smooth. So I just ripped the entire thing off because it just, it's a lot cleaner. Let me show you the other side here that I didn't sand down yet, but here it is with the grinder. So I definitely need to take a sander down and try and smooth that out a bit. Other than that, it's relatively simple. I did fight, have a hard time getting the bolts into the pedestal, but you just gotta loosen it all. Make sure you hand tighten all four bolts first and then tighten them down um, and you'll get it. And then pretty much everything else is good to go, ready to go. Perfect. All right, check me out. You can just swivel right back. And it should set into place, you'll hear it click. There it is. So the swivel seat is pretty high, not gonna lie. But you have an extra seat now that you can swivel. So I think life is good, it's definitely worth it. Alright guys, so that wraps up this van build episode or in installing our swivel seat. We only installed one swivel seat for our passenger side. Our driver's side, we're going to have a closet here so we're not going to be able to swivel, which is fine. But overall, pretty easy. This is probably the shortest van build episode made so far. Um, but it's just four bolts to get the seat off and then eight bolts in total for to get the swivel seat to the seat pedestal and then four more to get the seat onto the swivel so eight in total and then if you recall you have to just trim take a grinder or whatever tool you want to cut i think grinder would be easiest to cut this off so there's no interference when you're rotating you got to do it on both sides and then you're ready to go if you have any questions on the swivel seat Drop a comment below. If you like this video and want to see more van build episodes, then consider subscribing to our channel. And if you want to see our previous van build episodes, then look in the description below for our van build playlist. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.